Hi friends, welcome back to Engineering India, giving to your dreams. Today our topic is Camshaft Position Sensor. It is also known as CMP Sensor. It is same as CKP Sensor, which means Crankshaft Position Sensor, which we have discussed earlier. If you haven't gone to that, uh, I'll give the link of that video in the description. Please go through it. Now we will discuss about CMP sensor. CMP means camshaft position sensor. From the name itself, we can easily know that CMP means camshaft. P means position. This sensor is used to determine the position of the camshaft. With the help of the tooth situated on the camshaft at 120 degrees each. There will be three teeth. 3 into 120, it will be 360. So there will be three teeth which, which are used to generate the pulse when it crosses the sensor, CMP sensor. I mean when the sensor crosses the teeth on the wheel then the sensor will generate a voltage signal. Based on that voltage signal the work will be done. This is the uh, image of the CMP sensor which is same as crankshaft position sensor, CKB sensor, both are same sensors uh, and both does the same work. Now why we need to know the camshaft position? Here is the question arises why? Why you need to know the camshaft position? The camshaft will determine the position of the piston based on the inlet and outlet walls opening and closing. This camshaft with the help of the tooth at 120 degrees each will collect the data and send to ECM. The ECM will monitor the rotating position of the camshaft related to the cam crankshaft. This ECM gathers the data from the CKP and CMP and then combines both the data to get the accurate position of the piston inside the cylinder. From the top, camshaft will provide camp CMP sensor will provide the data from camshaft and from the bottom CKB sensor will provide the data from the crankshaft position sensor. By knowing this data, what is the actual use? We will see the actual use. After ECM gathers the data from CMP and CKP sensor, this inform is further processed and used to adjust the spark timing. First one, and the second one is operation of fuel injectors. How how the spark timing and operation of fuel injectors will work? Uh, you need to understand when if there are four cylinders. When the first cylinder piston is in uh, exhaust stroke and you switched off the car, I mean you turned off the car, you killed the power to the car. Now the piston is at the end of the exhaust stroke. Next it is going to suction. The, without, without these sensors, the ECM can't know, it, it, it won't know where the piston has been stopped. To determine that position from the top, CMP sensor will work, camshaft position sensor will work, and from the bottom, crankshaft position sensor will work. Camshaft will determine which valve is opened, I mean inlet valve is opened or exhaust valve is opened. From the bottom, crankshaft will know, crankshaft position sensor will know at what position the piston has been stopped. Both these data will combine combined uh, and then ECM will determine in which cylinder the spark need to come and fuel need to be spread. With the, help, uh, with the help of this data, fuel will be saved. If there are no sensor main, uh, the fuel injectors will inject the fuel into all the four cylinders. Only one cylinder will take that fuel, remaining three cylinders 
in in the remaining three cylinders the fuel will be wasted to avoid this the sensors came into existence you can see the location of the cmp sensor at the right side uh, this is a double overhead camshaft type dohc it is called dohc double overhead camshaft and you can see at the right side camshaft position sensor at the end you can see at the end of the camshaft there will be the sensor it is camshaft position sensor uh, if the system if the system of the cmp sensor goes wrong what are the symptoms now we'll know first of all starting difficulties second one is irregular acceleration and misfiring if cmp sensor and cqb sensor data won't match it means or if one sensor won't work means and these are the common problems the issue don't know in which cylinder it need to fire and it in which cylinder it need to inject the fuel so these problems will come and um, there are different types of cmp sensors mostly used are commonly two types one is magnetic and second one is hall effect type both will both will transmit the signal in the form of voltage and different type sensors are magnetic pickup uh, hall effect already know and next one is magneto resistive and finally optical sensors and if you have any doubts uh, please comment below thank you for watching this video friends